Hi and welcome to Penetrator 45.0. This is Piero, Technical Director of SecPoint, and I'm here with a new version of the Penetrator. In this firmware, we have completed the migration to the new layout. All the pages of the Penetrator have been redesigned on the new layout, the colors have been changed to various degrees of blue, and we have changed the home page icons too. And here are some features of the new layout. For example, we have tabs. In some pages where the same argument includes more than one function, the page is organized in tabs. The tabs are immediately under the page title and clicking on one tab, the page content changes. To fix the data in a tab, don't forget to press OK or Save. Another feature are the enable disable checkboxes. The checkboxes that enable or disable an option have been turned into these type of sliders where the green means enabled and the gray means disabled. Then we have another standard that is the lists for adding items. These lists have the same type of organization. In these lists, the first row is used to enter data and to add the data that has been entered, you have to press the plus sign on the right. Then, if you want to delete one or more items, you can click on the checkbox on the, right, on the left side and press delete. Then we have drop-down tips. Drop-down tips are these blue buttons with a description on them. And when we click on this button, a window opens under the button with a help on the current page. To close the window, click on the button again. Then we have videos all over the penetrator and when a video on the current page is available, this icon is visible. Clicking on the icon or on the text on its right, a drop-down window opens with a video on the current page. All the charts in the penetrator have been rewritten using a new graphics library which provides interactivity and more flexibility. In every chart, a list of values is displayed when the mouse is moved over the chart. Then, when a chart is composed of more than one series, each series can be turned on or off. The chart can then be downloaded in SVG or PNG format, clicking on the menu on the right side of the chart itself. If you want to read more about this firmware, you can download the release notes document from our website. It's all for now. Thank you for watching this video and see you next time with another video from SecPoint. Bye bye.